I love that research gives you a chance to answer questions that no one has previously had the answers to. And since there are a lot of those kinds of questions, one of my favorite things about research is having a variety of topics I can work on at the same time. In any given week, I'll be working with some of the smartest diabetes technology engineers in the world to try to improve blood sugar control for children and adults with type 1 diabetes, or working with a long-term research partner in studying the metabolic syndrome and its health consequences. I'm Mark DeBoer, and as a pediatric endocrinologist, I have chances to study hormonal problems and solutions for optimal health. I work with the UVA Center for Diabetes Technology in harnessing algorithms designed here at UVA to automate insulin delivery with a diminished need for patient time and trouble. I also do research in Tanzania with infectious disease and developmental physicians and an incredible field team in studying growth challenges among children in difficult nutritional settings. And I have a longstanding collaboration with Matt Gurka in Public Health Sciences using a metabolic syndrome severity z-score that we developed as a tool to assess cardiovascular risk and track treatment progress. As a physician, I've had the joy of seeing some of the technology developed at the Center for Diabetes Technology become available for clinical use for my patients. Going from approaches that were just a vision of the CDT founders, and were frankly doubted by many at first, to being widely available. I'm hoping that we'll see that same kind of translation from some of what we learn about childhood growth in developing areas and in using the metabolic syndrome to motivate patients to improve their health outlook.